I am Dr. N. Giricha. Now I will start how to create using Oracle Tenji, the Oracle Tenji using Form Builder, how to create the block and items. First we should create a table. Here I created two tables, one is called Author Table, another one is called Book Table. I am inserting two records in the tables. For creating table and inserting values, I am just copying from here and then I am opening SQL. So, I am giving SQL username and password. After I am copying the table, I will commit. Once you commit only, in the run time you will get the values. So, I committed the two tables. I will select the table. I will check whether everything is perfect. tables I have created. After creating database, first we will go to start button and then go to all programs and then go to oracle developer suit. Under the suit we can go oracle developer, go to form builder. Now you oracle form builder will open here. This is a screen. This object navigator is a thing. In the object navigator, we have data block. Data block is nothing but table. So create the table using data block wizard. Give OK and go there. If you want to connect the table. Once you do it, it will give the connection to the SQL. So give the same SQL username and password here. Then only we can connect to the database. So now I will go and select the author table. Author table have five field names. I will select all the available column. Column name is nothing but database item. So the block name is by default a table name. Then once wizard is created, it will go and create the layout wizard. It is useful for designing the canvas. By default, canvas type is content canvas, and I am selecting all the field name to display in the canvas. Canvas have two layout style. One is form style. One is called tabular style. You can see it is look like a table. It is in the form style. Now we are selecting form style. Give the frame uh, heading. Author detail is my heading. So one record it will display and then I'll once I completed the layout wizard, it will give the canvas. This is the canvas, this is a block name, this is my frame, this is my frame, frame is here, frame is here, this is what my frame. So the design time we get like this. Once you did the design, all our text items, all our text items here. You go and check with the property palette, text item. This is all our text item. So once you did it, this one, you want to compile the form. Before compiling the form, you will save the form. So for I save the form, I will do save. The tutorial, I will go and say author part one. Yes. Saving the form, it will give the extension FMP form module binary. That is called FMP. I will save the form. Once I save the FMB file, if I compile it and then I will run the form, then you can see that it asks HTTP listener. It's not there. It is needed for running the form. The listener, the same way, go to start all programs, Oracle Developer Suit, Form Developer, Start OC4J, will initialize the OC4J instance because Whatever the form we are running, it will be available in the web browser. So it would in initialize the J2E application server. That's why we need the initializer. Once I start the initializer, start OC4J, so initialize, we'll run the form. 
you can see here, I say the form as FMB, but it gives FMX. FMX is an executable format. Form module X means executable. Convert as an executable file. Once you compile. Now I refresh the form. Then I will load the form. Loading the Java applet here. Whatever we are seeing in the canvas appear in the runtime window. This is a this runtime um, form. You can see here all menus are available. Here all icons are available. This is called status bar. This is window. By default, it is window one. So I want to Execute this form, that's why I'm clicking execute query. Once you give execute query, you can get all the records. You can see the status bar here, record 1. Suppose I'm going next record, it will give status 2. Suppose I'm going again previous record, it's This is a way we created the record. If you want to delete, insert another record, I can insert it. If I want to remove the record, I can remove the record. I can commit the record for whatever I did it. This is a all windows. So, in this tutorial, we see how to create table, how to create the form builder, how to create data block and items, what is canvas, and then for compiling the form, we should start OC4J. And while running the form, the, we save the form as FMB. While running, after compiling, we are running, we are getting FMX file, FMX only. What? FMX file only we can see in the runtime. So we are seeing the runtime form in the window. So solve the part one tutorial.